I'm a professional photographer living in Venice, California, and I've been taking pictures for over eight years now, professionally here in Venice for two. I specialize in portraits and headshots, and today I'm going to talk to you about taking pictures of your pet. Now for this example, I'm going to use a dog, but it can apply to any pet that you might have. Now, when you're photographing your pet, it's important for you to carefully choose your location. You have a couple different options, and I'm going to start out with the obvious one, which we're in right now, which is an indoor studio. Now, this can be a professional photography studio, or in my case, it's my professional photography studio that happens to be my garage. Now, bringing a pet into a space like this is going to give you photographs that are more formal, typically, because you're doing the whole background setup, you've got a lot of control over your lights, and that can lend itself to making the dog or any pet a little bit more nervous or anxious. So keep that in mind if you do choose to go to the indoor studio. You might also want to build in some time for the animal to acclimate to the, to the studio and settle down. Another way, which is sort of like this for Mika, is to be shooting in your home. A lot of photographers will go ahead and join you on location and that can be great because maybe your dog has a favorite chair or a place that they like to lay and they'll be relaxed a lot more quickly. When you are going to someone's home though, you have to take into consideration the available light, uh, availability for you to plug in your own studio lights and the room to do a setup like that and also to decide if those are the kind of pictures that you want to get because they may tend to be a little bit more informal. Now the last thing you can do is go somewhere on location. Like with a dog, it's easy to go to a park or a beach. With a hamster or a cat, that might be a little more difficult. But photographs on the beach, for example, can be fabulous because a lot of beaches have areas where the dogs can run off leash. So you can let them run around and really be themselves and let their personality come out. And it can be fun to get other people involved in shots like that in parks or beaches. Now you don't have as much control over the light, so it can be more difficult in that way, but you can also try to set up some flashes or things like that to give you a little bit more of that posed look if necessary.